Morgan, first of all, thank you for having us and thank you for hosting us. You know, it was an outstanding day today in my life and in the life of the entire governmental team. We did really great with our American friends. Let me once again say you that this is just the first step. A lot of work needs to be done. We can get more only in case if we do more. This is the formula and we are not allowed to stop on our reform agenda. I was thinking how to measure the outcomes of this forum. Could I ask to raise the hands those who believe in Ukraine and who are ready to invest into Ukraine? <laughs> Madam Secretary, so we already accomplished something. Excellent. But once again, this is just the jump start. Uh, Today the government announced already a number of sweeping reforms, including the reform in the, in the energy sector. We want to make our country energy independent in the forthcoming 10 years, and in case if we accelerate this process, it could happen even quicker. We met with a number of US-based companies, and we have a joint projects in agricultural, in energy, in nuclear energy, in infrastructure projects. So the government is responsible to create this level playing field and to make Ukraine as an attractive place to invest in. I just had the meeting with the United States President and with the United States Vice President. And we truly commend personal engagement of President Obama and Vice President of the United States, Joe Biden, in supporting the Ukrainian people. We truly appreciate the bipartisan approach in the U.S. House and in the U.S. Senate. Uh, so Ukraine is not the divisive issue in the United States. This is the issue when the entire U American nation is united in their endeavors to support the Ukrainian people. And we thank you. We anticipate your visit, Madam Secretary, and we will execute everything that has been promised. And I am personally responsible for all benchmarks that will be set after, as, as the outcome of our business forum. Uh, I am headed to Canada, and uh, tomorrow we are to sign with uh, Prime Minister Harper and uh, Ukrainian trade representative. She is, she is great, Natalie. Natalia, where are you? <laughs> she, made, she made a great deal with our Canadian friends. So tomorrow we are to, to announce that Ukraine and Canada accomplished talks on free trade area. So Ukraine is... <laughs> you know, we are conquering North America. <laughs> so, uh, next meeting in London with the UK Prime Minister David Cameron and uh, we believe that uh, our British friends is to support Ukraine and we believe that uh, the EU is to fix the Grexit problem. Well, we can share with our Greece friends how to pass austerity packages in the Parliament. Uh, So let me, let me once again to thank you and we have a lot of stuff that needs to be done in the future. This is the bumpy road, that this is the right way that we have chosen. Tough, sometimes painful, but right reforms to build up the basement for the prosperous future of Ukraine. You mentioned American dream. Look, Ukrainian people have a dream too. And we actually have the same dream. To have the better life and to make our future brighter, prosperous and just stable and to make everyone happy in the United States and in Ukraine. So let's do it. <laughs>